Hello to all of you amazing individuals right here on the MMP Train of Positivity Virtual Summit. My name is DeMarco Fambi, and I am just absolutely ecstatic to be here presenting to you today. Thank you so much for joining on this train of positivity. Come on, ride the train. People all over the world, join hands. Let's start a love train as a shout out to the OJs. Look, I just wanted to take just a few moments of your time today to talk to you about this simple topic. I am an inspirational speaker and I get to travel the country and talk to youth all over the world and talk to amazing adults who work with youth. However, I want to take the opportunity today not to motivate you, not to inspire you, not to give you this rah-rah message, but to simply talk to you about one of my favorite words in the English language. And that word is service. See, I learned about service from a very young age. My grandmother, my nana, back in Anniston, Alabama, started this restaurant when I was seven years old. And I worked in that restaurant, yes, from the time I was seven to the time I was about 14. And the biggest lesson that I learned from my nana was service. She had this motto, she had this saying, this attitude about her that no matter who walked through the doors of that restaurant, she was gonna give them her absolute best. Didn't matter if that customer had a lot of money, didn't matter what that customer looked like, dressed like, sometimes even smelled like, but if they walked through her doors of her restaurant, she was gonna give them the absolute best that she had to give. She was committed to service in every facet of her life. Now, I could talk about service in a bunch of different ways. Like it's so cool, but service, before we break down the, the way that service looks throughout life, I want you to understand that service starts internally. It's an internal commitment to use the things that we would naturally use for ourselves to propel ourselves forward. Our time, our resources, our money, our gifts, our talents, and our skills, those things that we would naturally use to propel ourselves forward. It's making an internal commitment to using those things to propel someone else forward, to make someone's life just a little bit easier. Give them access to things that they normally wouldn't have access to or do something for them that they would normally do, but it would just make their day, make their hour, make their moment in time just a little bit easier. It can start as simple as opening a door and holding a door open. You can pick up a piece of trash that someone wouldn't have to pick up or walk over or even stumble or trip over. It could be as simple as cleaning up a lake or the ocean so animals won't get caught up in plastic or things that they cannot digest. It can be as simple as sitting next to someone and having a conversation. All of these things could be considered as service. But what I want you to understand about service is that service, true service, doesn't necessarily get any glory. See, I love sports. I love football, right? So I want you to think about like we always remember the quarterbacks, right? We always remember the wide receivers and we always remember like the running backs, the people, the skilled players, the people who get the ball. But it's so uncommon for us to remember the names and even the faces of the big guys up front that offensive line that protects that quarterback every single snap it's so hard for us to even remember or it's just uncommon for us to remember the the guard or the tackle or the tight end that spends the entire game not touching the ball at all not getting into the end zone but blocking and protecting for those skill players who do get the ball. See, even in basketball, I love basketball, right? But I'm going to go a little different round in bas basketball, and I'm not going to talk about the athlete per se, but I'm going to talk about the equipment that they use. See, I'm a shoe junkie. I love shoes, right? But it gets so easy for us to just forget about the glory that a good pair of shoes gets. A good pair of shoes, like if they look good, fine. People will notice they'll be like, yo, there's some fresh kicks. 
However, people forget about the support that a good pair of shoes gives a basketball player. Not only the ankle support, but have you ever tried to walk on a basketball court with just socks on? <laughs> There's absolutely no traction. If you haven't tried to run or jump or even walk on a basketball court with your socks on, here, I advise you to never do it because <laughs> those floors are waxy and the traction on the bottom of your basketball shoes doesn't get very much glory, but it is a service to every athlete who has ever played a game of basketball. Even in the real world, we see this all the time. I was in the garden recently with my father-in-law and we were growing tomatoes and he was talking about his amazing tomato plants and how beautiful that they were. And I, I was complimenting him on how beautiful they were and how, oh, the, the red and ripe and plump these tomatoes were. And I was asking him, what's the secret to getting these tomatoes like this? And I knew he was going to give me an in-depth answer, right? So I beat him to the punch and I was like, the soil must be really good. Or you must be using some organic like fertilizer, like banana peels and things like that. And he looked at me and he said, nope. He said, it's the stakes in the ground. I was like, the stakes? It's like nobody even, like, that's not even a part of the plant. Like, why do the stakes get the credit? Why do the stakes get the glory? He's like, because people don't think about it. Because a tomato plant is a vine. It grows on a vine. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a branches or a, a roots that, that are firm and sturdy that hold it in place. And when tomatoes start growing out of this plant, it gets a little heavy. And so if I don't tie these vines to these stakes that are rooted deep into the ground, my vines are going to get top heavy and they're just going to fall over. And my plants, my tomatoes, they won't grow the right way. He's like, the secret is I got really sturdy steaks. This just blew my mind because like you see these beautiful, like lush red and green tomatoes. And it's like, you gave the credit to the steaks. He's like, yeah, because they never get the credit. What a perfect example of service. Like that job is, is dirty. It's not glorious in any means. The stake literally just stands there. But without the vine being secured to that stake, that plant would surely fail. Those tomatoes wouldn't be as luscious and as glorious as they are. They couldn't grow as tall as they are and produce the amount of fruit that they produce. The reason I wanted to use that example for you is I want to ask you, how many stakes in your life go unnoticed? How many people truly stand in the dirt and the soil and they help you grow as tall as you possibly can? How many people stand there in silence and just root for you from afar? And if there aren't any, I'm going to ask you, how many people do you do that for? See, remember, the one of the first things that I told you today is that service is an individual commitment. It's an individual assessment of myself to say, you know what, I'm going to use what I have to make somebody else's experience just a little bit better. And when you make that commitment, I guarantee you that this train of positivity will continue to roll along, continue to chug right along and put smiles on faces and grant opportunities and continue to spread love to people who would normally get it. Continue to serve, continue to love, I can't wait to see and experience the rest of this train of positivity and see where you guys take your service abilities in the future. Thank you. I love you. Peace. Thank you for joining us for the 2021 Train of Positivity Virtual Summit. 
If you've enjoyed this positive message, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If sharing, please don't forget to use the hashtag train of positivity. Continue to have a great day, and thanks again for tuning in.